John Hanna, and here are the CDTV.net Dividend Report for Friday, October 17, 2008. But first, here's today's top stories. Home construction falls by wider than expected 6.3% in September as builders slash production yet again due to credit crisis. Applications for building permits fell sharply in September, dropping by 8.3%, to an annual rate of 786,000 units. It is by far the weakest level since November 1981. Google Incorporated profits surpassed average analyst forecasts. Web traffic and revenue growth were strong in all major parts of the world and searches were up for almost every industry using Google, Chief Executive Eric Smith said. The third quarter net income rose to $1.35 billion or $4.24 per diluted share from $1.07 billion or $3.38 per share a year ago, excluding employee stock compensation costs and one-time items, profit rose to $4.92 per diluted share and topping analyst average estimate of $4.75. And now, the dividend report. The Bank of New York Mellon Corporation announced that its board of directors declared a quarterly dividend of $0.24 per share on the outstanding shares of the company's common stock. The dividend is payable on November 3rd to holders of record as of the close of business on October 24, 2008. The Bank of New York Mellon Corporation is a global financial services company focused on helping clients manage and service their financial assets, operating in 34 countries and serving more than 100 markets. International Paper declared a regular quarterly dividend of $0.25 per share on its common stock. This dividend is payable on December 15 to holders of record at the close of business on November 17, 2008. International Paper is a global paper and packaging company with manufacturing operations in North America, Europe, Latin America, Russia, Asia, and North Africa. Embark Corporation announced that its board of directors has declared a dividend on the company's common stock. A dividend of 68 and three quarters cents per share is payable December 31st to shareholders of record at the close of business on December 10, 2008. Embark Corporation offers a complete suite of communication services. Directors of A.O. Smith Corporation declared a regular quarterly cash dividend of 19 cents per share on common stock. The dividend is payable on November 17 to shareholders of record, October 31, 2008. A.O. Smith Corporation engages in the manufacture and sale of water heating equipment and electric motors for residential, commercial, and industrial and markets. The board of directors of the Procter & Gamble Company declared a quarterly dividend of $0.40 per share on the company's common stock payable on or after November 14, to shareholders of record at the close of business on October 24, 2008. The company has been paying dividends without interruption since incorporation in 1890. Three billion times a day, Procter & Gamble company brands touch the lives of people around the world. The board of directors of Integris Energy Group Incorporated has declared a quarterly dividend of 67 cents per share on common stock payable on December 20 to shareholders of record, November 26, 2008. Integris Energy Group has paid dividends for 68 consecutive years and increased its dividend for 50 consecutive years. Integris Energy Group is a diversified holding company with regulated utility operations operating through six wholly owned subsidiaries. For more information about these dividends and other announcements, go to cdtv.net.